Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tea Kettle, named after the Tea Kettle in the show, and now you're inside of it with us. Uh, this is the Daisy Quest After Show podcast exclusive to our Patreon backers, and this entire endeavor could not be possible without you, dear listeners, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I- I'm your host, Sandeep, executive producer and cast member who plays Ash, and my co-pilot and, and also host uh, is none other than the effervescent Omar Najam, who plays Mirka. Hi, hi, Omar. Is that a good... Hello, like effervescent. effervescent. Goodness. Uh, I'm so touched. Thank you. I Thank you. Like, I'm so... You know, you're like a... mm-hmm. Yeah, you're so bubbly. You know, it's like it's like I always feel like refreshing. I feel refreshed after I hang out with Omar. Does that feel <laughs> that my my goal is to be like you know in um, commercials like soda commercials when like they play basketball and then they crack open a soda and then they drink it and they're like God, <laughs> yeah. that sugar water, really that carbonated sugar water really hit the spot. That's what I'm going for. So thank you, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, after, <laughs> a, a, after every episode of Daisy Quest is launched, we'll release another episode of the Tea Kettle with me and Omar and a very special guest or guest from either behind or in front of the camera. And guess what? This week we have both in one because we have the creator, executive producer, and game master of Daisy Quest, Jasmine Buller, a.k.a. that bronze girl, a.k.a. bronze, a.k.a. I don't know. Have you had any other ones? Yeah, have you had any other <laughs> no, names? I think that's the, the main stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Amazing. I'm the I'm the opposite of Omar's effervescence. I have like the more <laughs> <laughs> we get a hangover. <laughs> you, I always feel like I always genuinely feel like distilled and like reset when I hang out with you, Jasmine. Like really? I'm just like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like okay, good, good. I I texted I, you about oh this the God. other day. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, you were messaging me about it. Like I have like a very. Um, I think my thing is extroverts hate me, introverts love me. <laughs> oh, interesting. You know, because introverts are like, it's not exhausting to be around you, and extroverts yes. are like, why are you like that? Well, it's because you call it's because you call them out. That's in their not bullshit. fair. I'm an extrovert, and I don't feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you find out you're an I think introvert. They're frail. They're, fra- they're, f- I they're think- frail extroverts that don't don't like hanging out with you. Yes, no. I think sometimes you're very much like. Is everything good? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just sitting here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just my personality to make sure everything's good. But that's, that's, like ex- that's like extrovert energy of like, why is your face like that? And I'm like, it's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> there are, there's so much, there's Maybe so much energy in this space that is like, are you mad at me? And you're like, what? I, I just got here. <laughs> Like, what's up? Why, <laughs> what did I? What did I get myself into? What's happening? You say that's that's my energy. That's, my energy not, is. Are I you? I never mad at said me? it's no your way. energy. You've never. You've never said. Uh-oh. Are you mad at me? More frequently than not, you have said to me when I've entered into a room, um, "Breakfast is over there." <laughs> I would say that's the most common introduction <laughs> in person. <laughs> Breakfast is over there. Breakfast is uh, over there. It's free. Don't tell anyone. Guess, We're all using I'm someone's just... <laughs> hotel card. <laughs> I guess I'm very, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a breakfast guy. I don't know. Are we always hanging out at hotels? What's going Okay, anyway, okay, we're getting off track here. Before, <laughs> listen, we're going to jump in. We're going to talk about episode one because people who have consumed the show will now be want, listening to this. Uh, but before we dive into that dissec- dissection mm-hmm. of episode one, we ask that, hey, you know, take a moment, you know, if you haven't already, ha- ha- maybe think about going over to thedaisyquest.com to hop on our mailing list and get a special <sighs> discount on some sweet, sweet merch. That's just for you, uh, uh, Patreoners. More? Uh, that, that's what happens if you get on the mailing list. So if you haven't done that, please do. Uh, and that, listen, there were a handful of sponsors that really took a big chance on us to make this show possible. And so for each of these, we wanted to just shout one of them out. Uh, so for today, that honor goes to our very first sponsor, Garana Foods. They were the first ones to come on board and say, yes, I will sponsor you before we had really anything but the Kickstarter up. Um, we love them. They're a family-run business. Their chuckery is like out of this world. We ate it on set, loved it. Um, and so listen, go, go, go over to their website, uh, granafoods.com and get 10% off your order using the code Daisy quest. And that, and that link will be in show notes. Um, all right. Did it paid our bills. Um, now let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's jump on in Jasmine. You spent months, maybe years preparing this world. Um, no, and- <laughs> <laughs> months, months. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like Weeks. it was one of 
like an hour. Five <laughs> ideas that I had oh my kind God. of banging around, I would say. Yeah. yeah. This okay. hold on, hold on really the quick. The idea of an all day. No, hold on. Time this out. entire oh, world this entire world was one of five ideas. Like, I, like in re, in like watching the episodes, I'm like, this is a whole universe. Like, because when you're system. in it, you're in it. But like, yeah. you know, now I get to like, now I'm not worried about like making the choices and doing all this, and I'm like, absorbing all the information. I'm like, every corner of this universe, how everything works, how everything functions, how it comes together. And then you're here being like, that was one of five. You know, I got, I have an undersea one. I got, you know, Bioshock. That's cute. <laughs> I can top that. <laughs> it's wild because like I I don't know why I at any given time I could probably like pitch like nine seasons and most of them are half baked. I think that's my superpower though. Mm, like great. I don't fully bake anything. I kind of keep everything a little doughy in the middle and then when someone's like this one I'm like all right, let's pop it in the oven. And so, <laughs> right. Well, it's kind of answered my first question. It's like, what was your mindset when you were first birthing it? So it was kind of like you had pieces of ideas, kind of thing, and then yeah, uh, and you're like, okay, now that we're really doing this, let's uh, yeah, four twenty uh, for for three hours. <laughs> is that is that what we're talking about? Wait, yeah, the wrong kind of four twenty. I mean, I'm at, I'm at degrees <laughs> on the okay. Anyway, um, what, so when you're doing your prep, like, what are like. What were like the points of interest that were jumping out at you? Um, it was mostly just thinking about uh, actually like the the mini series. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing something that's like more long form, I usually prep differently than if I'm doing a mini series. Usually with a mini series, what I start with is a storyboard and sending that over to our director Shabak. And I actually don't start on that until like we have a director, uh, mm -hmm. which is probably a little late in the process. But I'll have like some ideas of stat blocks and some ideas for NPCs and a vague idea that's like kind of just notes. And then what happens is is you know we we get a wonderful director like Shabak, and I start fleshing out a um, a storyboard, which I know is very different for D and D prep, yeah. but I think is useful when you're coming into a mini series, because what happens then is you can kind of write the Omar episode, right? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you get to, <laughs> you get to make sure that like every character has like a moment um, versus like, if you just prep for it, like a normal game, then you might not, you might not have that, I guess. Right. Um, yeah. yeah. So do you, um, I know you've, discuss this like elsewhere in certain iterations but like can you take us through that process of storyboarding like what you physically are doing um to be like okay this is how this will all work and breathe and feel like a family at the table yeah it's funny because my storyboard changes rapidly usually after like in between episodes too mm -hmm. which is why i structure it like that so i have like really broad columns to start which is like uh, the realities of production, which is like, is there combat this episode? So that's usually Ooh, where I start. Okay. Of yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. is yeah, is there going to be combat? Is there a potential for combat this episode? And then it's usually like, okay, what major locations are we going to be in? What moving characters are in those locations? And then what specific plot threads do I have that I think the players will <laughs> grab and latch onto? And there are times that uh, what the players latch and grab onto is different than what you right. originally thought. And so then you change the storyboard to kind of reflect that. Or you might think going into it like, oh, I think this character is going to be kind of like taking the lead on a lot of decision making. And then maybe they don't. So then it's like, okay, what can I give them in episode two so we can see like what they're good at or 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 what in their backstory is like traumatizing. And we just kind of like push on different keys on the keyboard until we hopefully make some music um it never That's feels like it's going well when it's happening and you're just doing that in the moment <laughs> like you're not like following the script here you're like kind of like in the moment reacting to what's happening and then just deciding yeah. and feeling out intuiting like okay yeah. now it's time i have to like get vague dramatic. ideas yeah there's times i'm like oh i'm sure they'll love this and probably not like this and then it's like the opposite <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> where it's like oh no i actually love this npc and i hate this other npc <laughs> so that's fun too
Hey, so sorry to interrupt, but the rest of this episode is for our Patreon subscribers only. So if you'd like to hear the rest of this juicy conversation, let me tell you, it gets juicy. There's another 50 minutes, 50, five zero of this conversation over at patreon.com slash Thank you so much for supporting the show.